Hi everyone and welcome to today's biology lesson on body systems. This lesson today is on the nervous system. As with all your other biology lessons, if you don't have a pen and some paper, can you please pause the video and go and find one now? Today's challenge is to describe what the nervous system consists of and the aspire is to explain how a response to certain situation is coordinated. Okay, so the starter for today's lesson is to be able to name the five senses. So I would like you to get your pen and paper and I would like you to write me down what the five senses are. If you are struggling with what they are, there are some pictures at the top of the screen to help you. So 30 seconds, off you go. Okay, so the five senses that I hope that you've all written down is touch, taste, smell, sight and sound. So the next task that I would like you to do as part of the starter is I would like you firstly to draw this table and then I would like you to name the sense organ that belongs to the sense. So for example, uh, sound would be your sense organ would be your ears okay so you need to copy down the table so I'm going to give you a little bit of extra time to do that and then I'd like you to write these senses down and then the sense organ that belongs to it so I'm going to give you three minutes off you go
Okay, guys, so the answers that you should have written down are the sense touch belongs to the sense organ skin, the sense taste belongs to the sense organ the tongue, uh, the sense smell belongs to the sense organ the nose, the sense sight belongs to the sense organ the eyes, and the sense sound belongs to the sense organ the ears. Right guys, so on the left hand side of this PowerPoint slide there is Right guys, so from the uh, picture I So guys, our nervous system is primarily made up of two parts So how does the nervous system work? Well our sense organs that we The diagram on this slide is showing us a nerve cell um, And we call a nerve cell a neuron and what happens is our bodies detect changes in our environment and then electrical impulses are then running up and down these neurons. And they then carry these electrical signals to our CNS and a response is coordinated. Now, these electrical impulses are running up and down our neurons extremely fast. They are traveling at a speed of around 80 meters per second, which is incredibly fast. So in our body, there are three main types of neurons, sensory neuron, a motor neuron, and a relay neuron. And all three of them are adapted to carry electrical impulses from one place to another in the body. So already you've learned a lot about cells and also how all cells might have certain adaptations on them to carry out a certain job within our bodies. So I want you to look at this nerve cell, this neuron, and I would like you to write down on your paper how you think this nerve cell is adapted to do its job. I'm going to give you one minute, off you go. Right guys, so hopefully from the diagram, uh, the first adaptation that you have noticed that this nerve cell has is the fact that it is very long. Um, and obviously it's very long because the nerve cells have to go all the way from the tips of our toes all the way up to our brain and that's a really long way when these cells are very microscopic. So they are elongated so that they can help carry the messages up and down the body. Also, the yellow bit that is surrounding the axon um, is fat and that helps insulate uh, the actual axon that carries the electrical impulses up and down them. So basically, the, uh, the electrical impulses are not lost into the body. Okay, so now what we need to talk about is how we respond to changes in our environment. So as we spoke about before, um, our stimulus is a change in our environment. So as I mentioned on a previous slide, this could be um, a sound, it could be some light, pressure, pain, change in temperature. Uh, and our sense organs, so the receptors in our sense organs actually detect that stimuli. And what they then do is they send the electrical impulse from the receptor along the sensory neuron. So how I remember that is our sensory neuron is attached to our senses. So sense and sensory. 
and it sends the electrical impulse to the central nervous system. So that is, remember, the brain and the spinal cord. The next thing that happens is our central nervous system will then coordinate a response and it will process the information. It will send another electrical impulse along our motor neuron. So our sensory neuron was going to the central nervous system to coordinate a response. Our motor neuron takes it to our effectors. Our effectors in our body are always a muscle or a gland. So a, a muscle will actually help to move something within our body. And a gland is something in our body that releases a chemical called a hormone, which is probably something that you've, you have heard of before. And then that you will see a response that you will coordinate. So an example of this would be the school bell rings at the end of your lesson. So the bell is the stimulus and that produces the sound. And then the sound is detected by your ears and in your ears you have your receptors. An electrical impulse then is sent along your sensory neuron to your CNS and then that coordinates a response. Uh, it then uh, The electrical impulse is then sent back along the motor neuron to the muscles in your legs, which are your effectors, and then the muscles contract and allow you to stand up and walk towards the door, which is your response that you have coordinated. So I'll just say that again. So the school bell rings at the end of the day and the bell is your stimulus. So the sound that you hear the stimulus is detected in your ears by your receptors in your ears. An electrical impulse is sent along your sensory neuron to your CNS. Remember, sensory neuron is attached to your senses. Your CNS then coordinates the response and it sends a message back along is an electrical impulse, remember, to your motor neuron. And then your effectors, which in this case are your muscles in your legs, allow them to contract, allow you to stand up, and then you walk out. And that is the response that you have coordinated. So uh, the task that I would like you to do now is to describe what is happening in this diagram, knowing about how we've just learned a nervous system response is coordinated. So... What I'm going to do is on the next slide, for any of you that want help, there are some fill in the blanks that I would like you to write down and fill in. If you are OK with what you think is happening and you can form sentences yourself, then you can just look at the diagram and do that for me, please. So I'm going to give you five minutes to write out these sentences as what's happening in each stage of this diagram. So you've got five minutes go. Just to let you know also, guys, that if you are struggling for the words to fill in the blanks, they are at the bottom of the slide. So please don't use them if you don't need to use them. But if you do, they are there to help you.
Okay guys, so hopefully the first thing that you notice from this diagram is that the drink is the stimulus. This is then detected by the receptors in our eyes. Then an electrical impulse is sent along the sensory neuron to the CNS. Remember, like I keep saying, sensory neuron is attached to our sensors. An impulse then is then sent back along the motor neuron to uh, our muscles in our arm, and that is our effector. And this muscle then contracts, and then your arm will lift uh, uh, the drink towards uh, your mouth, and that is your response. Right guys, now we're going to go and do a quick quiz. Uh, so what I'd like you to do on your piece of paper is write one to five. And the first question for today's quick quiz is what is the change in the environment called? So I'm going to give you 10 seconds to write down your answer. Okay, hopefully you all wrote down the stimulus. Next question. Name any two of the three neurons that I have told you about today. Again, I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Off you go. Okay, so you could have picked any from sensory, motor or relay neuron. Okay, next question. What does the abbreviation CNS stand for? Okay, I'm going to give you 10 seconds again. Off you go. Okay, hopefully you've all got written down central nervous system. Next question. What is the CNS made up of? So again, 10 seconds. Off you go. Okay, hopefully you've all got written down the brain and the spinal cord. Next question. The effectors in our body are muscles and glands. What do muscles do to be able to move? Again, 10 seconds, off you go. So hopefully you all have written down that they contract to allow us to move parts of our body. Right, last question. The effectors in our body are muscles and glands, but this time what do glands do? So again, I'm going to give you 10 seconds, off you go. So hopefully you've got written, written down that glands release hormones into the blood. So this now leads us to the summary notes section of this lesson. As similar to all the other biology lessons, I would like you to make a note of these as these are today's key points of the lesson. Again, I'm going to give you five minutes to record these summary notes. If you need any longer to record, then please pause the video. So uh, the notes are, the nervous system allows humans to react to their surroundings and to coordinate their behaviour. The central nervous system is made up of the brain and spinal cord. In our body, electrical impulses travel along the nerve cells, which are called neurons. There are three main types of neurons, sensory, relay and motor. A change in the environment is called a stimulus and this is detected by receptors in our bodies. Uh, the effectors are muscles and glands in our body and they help us to respond to a situation and our muscles contract to allow movement and glands release a chemical called a hormone into the bloodstream. So I'm going to give you uh, five minutes, off you go.
Okay, guys, last thing to do today now then is please go and complete the Google quiz. As with the other ones, please make sure that you complete your first name, your surname and your science set and answer all of the multiple choice questions. Please make sure that you do read the questions because some of them require you to tick more than one box. Thank you. Bye.